Hello, I'm Jill. Some of you may already know me. I organise the programme. I work for Tourism South East as the training manager there, responsible for the Welcome Host programme. We wanted to improve the welcome that people got to the city with all the new cruise ships coming in and people arriving in the city for the first time. We wanted to make sure that their first impression was the right impression because that really is the impression that matters at the beginning. What have we come to Southampton for? Nothing ever happens here. What we wanted to make it was more of an experience whereby when you get in the taxi, the taxi driver knows the best routes to places, knows where to suggest for somewhere for dinner, knows where to suggest the best hotels and takes the easiest, most appropriate route. Hi, welcome to Southampton. Uh, where are we off to today? We've done it! We've done it! We've done it! The goals were to provide better customer service to people travelling through the city, but also a bit more pride in the city for the people who work here. We did it! We did it! I did it! People seem to have a very poor impression and a poor knowledge of their own city. Southampton to me, before the course, was boring. A bit boring and dull. Dull. Southampton was a place where people left from. Too much docks. It wasn't very nice, there wasn't much to do. Bit of a rundown sort of place. Building site. Never really showed much interest. And really it was to raise the profile of the city and to be proud of where they are and make them all ambassadors for the city of Southampton and the surrounding area. What this course has taught me is that I'm a host. When we're bringing people into the city we can recommend places. I think you just need to point it out. That's the bar gate, that's the hotel when it was built, that's the Red Funnel Ferries. The people that we spoke to who understood more of the importance were the taxi drivers, the coach drivers and the hotel receptions, the ones that would make the first important positive impression of the city. We did it! We did, we did it. it! We were so impressed with the course that we actually put the management on the course as well. It, it's been a fantastic experience uh, from, from start to finish. I'm sure we've achieved our objectives in so much as we now have 230 people who are fully trained and who will give the proper Southampton welcome. The course actually does have a very good team building effect because people discuss things that they're doing every day and it puts a value on their job for customer service. The training programme has brought the company much closer together as a unit. It does tend to, to build that team spirit as well as giving people the skills to be able to deal with difficult situations, um, stressful situations and just say welcome to Southampton. I'm a very sceptical person when it comes to customer training, customer service skills courses but this was actually very good. The course leader was excellent, a little bit of irony which made it fun all the way through. People enjoy the course because it's a fun course, it makes them participate and it's something that people already know so it's not something that's difficult but it's putting it in context of the city and the context of the welcome that they already give and giving a value to it and making it a better welcome. Yes I enjoy the course, it was uh, it opened my eyes to what Southampton had to offer. Um, I've lived here all my life but still didn't know half of what goes on and what you can do here. I thought it was terrific. I thought the, the, the training especially, the training leaders, um, they are like, so brisk, um, like really good methods of kind of getting people talking, getting people talking about what they thought. I found the course very enjoyable, the content was superb for the area. I know a lot more now about Southampton, I know the history, I know about nightlife. The course itself was uh, very beneficial to the company. It's basically opened everybody's eyes to how we could be a better service really. There's a great perception that if when you walk through the door of any business you are greeted in a friendly manner that you remember that. Also if you're greeted in the wrong manner you remember that as well but surely if it's a friendly manner you're going to want to go back there. That means more money in your pocket, more money in Southampton's pocket and the visitor economy is strengthened by that. We'll know it's a success because we're going to um, do some surveys afterwards and also ask the customers but really from the immediate response we, we really that we've done a good job and very positive outlook. Since I've been on the course, which I found very enlightening, I've actually found out quite a bit more than I wasn't aware of. I found it's more historic than I thought it was. And Southampton has a lot to offer, it's quite exciting. And there's uh, so much to do, plenty to do, lots, lots to see. It's live music, theatre. More culturally diverse, especially with the new arts complex. It's got a good nightlife. It's very good for cruising. I think there's lots of museums, there's lots of places to visit, lots of things to do when it's raining. There's lots of tourist attractions in and around the city. Southampton is a very historic place. People want to see Southampton, and especially since the film The Titanic. I mean, that's put Southampton on a map. I'm really, really proud of my, my city. It's been quite a key place in the development of the country. More to do than you think. There's so much in it. 
The immediate reaction has been excellent. Yes, we've got very positive feedback from the people that enjoyed the course and also um, that they want to go on and do more. Since the drivers have been on the course, they've come back with a real thirst for knowledge. The course was great fun. It was really relaxed. Um, lots of different people from different um, service providers in the area. It's a good chance to meet other people um, in the industry. You know, when you're a taxi driver, you don't really talk much about, about the place but it just showed me that you're driving around Southampton, these people want to know about Southampton, so I did enjoy it, it's made me a better taxi driver. It is a good thing for other taxi drivers to, to actually get on and do. Knowing how many people live and work in Southampton means that we have a long way to go, and to make this sustainable, it is a case of keep spreading the word. The in-depth knowledge that I've got with Southampton, coupled together with the walking tour that we did as part of the, the Welcome Host course, um, certainly worthwhile exercise doing and very enjoyable. Come over here! Now, I am actually standing here on the medieval quay of Southampton. This is the type of boat that would have traded with Southampton in the 1300s. Outside these magnificent walls, some of the finest that you're going to see in England. And if you come here, I can show you the medieval quay from which these boats departed. At that time, out here was all water. But look now, we have a very big hotel. All my team now can recommend to the guests where to go in Southampton. They've got a lot more knowledge and their customer service skills are a lot better. Yes, I would recommend it for a lot of the businesses that are in the city. We had so much benefit, we would recommend it to anybody, not just your ground staff, but right the way through management. If you have the slightest doubts about this type of training, this is definitely the type of thing to go on. If there's anyone else in this business, I would definitely recommend the Welcome House course for them to do. We thoroughly recommend it to all companies that have dealings with tourism. Absolutely, absolutely 100% recommend it. The future for the Welcome Southampton programme has to be to encourage more people to take part in training. Anyone who has any contact with the public should go on this course.